welcome back to Orchid Delirium. I'm Brenda and this is what I have in bloom right now. This catacetum is more on the lime green side with speckles and of course frilly lips because I went cuckoo crazy for frilly lips. This one is supposed to have chocolate frills. Um, I don't really see too much brown in this one so that was uh, interesting because you never know how the crosses are going to actually express themselves. But this is it as it's opening and then we'll see how much it opens and then I will insert a picture of how it looks a week later in a pop-up. And uh, it has more of a fire wing shape to it and it's definitely opened up on the lime green side but the lime green has definitely chilled out as it aged and become more of a, of a translucent white. But let's move on to what we're really here for the biggest box ever now this is gonna be a little anticlimactic and um but anyway here's the reveal of what i purchased i bought this from air plant supply company and they sell a variety of supplies for the air plant hobby but i was most interested in cork yes i use this in my mounts i have not been able to source it locally so i finally decided hey you know that company you're always recommending to people that you heard about that you came across and that they sell bark they sell it in wholesale or they sell it in individual slabs so it is more economical <laughs> to buy it like a big wholesale quantity bulk quantity but you don't have to and I decided to go with the bulk order because I'm sick of having to look for bark every time every time the mood strikes or the need arises right so this company has been around for a while and I believe it's kind of taken over by a young man named Christian who has the deepest passion for the air plant uh, hobby and he lives it and he um, has really taken it on and made it this personal um, embodiment of who he is and he also has the company um, contributing to a organization called Pencils of Promise and if you're somebody who likes to shop and likes their money to go further beyond the pockets of um, businesses and you like companies that give back then you might want to consider checking out what they have to offer and ordering from them as for me I found this cork to be really great it's you know got dirt and debris on it but it's natural virgin unused cork so all it takes is some sanitizing from me no big deal and it will be ready to go so what I think is like how I rank cork that I purchased is just how many nooks and crannies it has and I have a lot the majority of my pieces are highly textured so I really like that and they also have a lot of these break points within the cork that naturally occur and it just makes it easy for me to flex the piece and snap off a, a chunk for me to use and so I don't cut them with anything or saw them or anything so these break points make it easier to just you know break off a piece of that right <laughs> we've heard that before so it's just really I really am pleased with this I could have received just a box full of pieces that had um, very minimal texture and really thickness that almost makes it too big and bulky and hard to use but these are these split pieces that I was talking about so this one I'm actually very excited to work with but that's it there are 12 pieces in all here they are what I'm going to do with them I don't know but I do know I have a lot of plants and I do have a bigger tent and so I'm positive I'm not going to have a hard time using these gorgeous pieces of bark for um, my <laughs> plants and to get them mounted the way that I like and I might even take some off of pieces that I do have and put them on these because I really like these a lot better anyway thank you for stopping by and checking out what's new at Orchid Delirium